Sadly, these huge increases in per pupil spending have had little effect on teacher compensation. The surge in non-teaching staff has absorbed the huge influx of dollars. One study noted that if the ratio of non-teaching staff to students had remained at its 1992 level, teachers across the board would have had an extra $11,000 per year in compensation. The importance of teachers and principals was also noted by President Obama in his 2011 State of the Union address. He said then, quote, after parents, the biggest impact on a child's success comes from the man or the woman at the front of the classroom. We want to reward good teachers and stop making excuses for bad ones. But today, barring a felony, it's extremely difficult to dismiss an ineffective teacher. Tenure, sometimes granted after as little as two years, tends to protect the least competent teachers at the expense of students and the teacher's more competent <clears throat> peers. Don't mistake my remarks for disrespect for teachers and the profession. I come from a long line of teachers. My mother and father met when my mother was teaching home economics and my dad was a PE teacher and coach. My mother-in-law, sister-in-law, and daughter-in-law are all career elementary school teachers. My wife and daughter have worked as adult education teachers and English as a second language teacher. My brother and I, and I were both professors at a public college. I have the highest regard for educators and respect for the pro profession. The problem is not the people. The problem is a one-size-fits-all, top-down, bureaucratically encumbered system that limits the authority and freedom of the people in the system. 